FM 94, The Dark. It is that time again to uh, talk about music. And this is fun because on the phone tonight, I'm talking with Ken Lacey. He's the general manager of Lakes Jam. And, of course, Lakes Jam is uh, just less than 30 miles here from the Little Falls area. And it's going on once again here in 2019. And, Ken, thanks so much for joining me tonight on the program. And we wanted to kind of let our listeners know what is happening with Lakes Jams this year. And uh, I'm sure you guys are plenty busy right now uh, preparing for this June concert. Yeah, we really are. Uh, crunch time. It doesn't seem like much, but we're 80 days out here. And thanks, Jay-Z, for having me. I appreciate it. Hey, let's talk about the lineup here. And I know, obviously, it all kicks off, actually, I think on Wednesday. You have kind of a, a pre-party night uh, going on there. And then Thursday, Friday. You have some country music acts and Saturday in the rock side. We can talk about the country stuff, too. We're not afraid to do that here on The Dark. Uh, let's talk about uh, what's all going on up there and starting out on that Wednesday night. Sure. So Wednesday night, um, if you're camping at Lakes Jam, you have an opportunity to come in early. And uh, we have uh, both country and rock bands going on the campground stage Wednesday night. So pretty light, but it's a good start. And you can pull up on your ATV, UTV, sit there in front of the stage and listen to the bands. It's Something different than you'll see anywhere else. You know, one thing, I have never camped at the zoo, but I've heard many stories, and uh, it's a lot of fun, isn't it? It it absolutely is. It's just, it's a relaxed environment. Um, Really, everyone kind of cruises around in their ATVs, UTVs, checks out different parties. Um, it's, It's just a really neat thing you won't see anywhere else. It's part of the culture of Brainerd International Raceway. And I was going to say, even though the, the concert's here, for our listeners, probably in about a 30-minute to an hour drive, it, it pays to actually stay there and enjoy the whole event, doesn't it? It is. It's a total experience, and, and, and you're, you're going to have fun either way, but it really adds to the experience if you stay on site. You know, let's talk about that, the camping side of it and the tickets for that. How does that all work out? Sure. So our campgrounds, we have three options. You have full service camping, which is hookups, everything that sells out back in September. We have about 165 sites with water, electric, sewer, um, picnic table, fire ring, everything. Um, but you got to get on a waiting list on, for that. Otherwise, we have our reserve sites where it's your guaranteed 20 by 40, 20 by 50 space. So it doesn't matter when you show up. You get to go right to your spot and you're good. And then we have our general camping which is wide open space, and we've got a ton of it out there. And it's just first come, first serve, come set up the space you need. And so if you got a large group and want to just kind of all huddle together, that's, that, that's a great way to do it. And, uh, of course, I'm assuming that uh, there are a lot of uh, fun things going on in the campground uh, all throughout the weekend. Yeah, we do. It's, uh, again, quite a bit different. We like to think of ourselves as more than just a music festival. We've got the water cross racing with the snowmobiles on the water. Um, we've got drifting demonstrations out on the asphalt. And then we've got lawnmower racing going on back in the campgrounds. Uh, we've got poker tournaments going on Saturday and Sunday during the day, beanbag tournaments. Um, the Traveling Art Pub usually comes and does some, some uh, art with anybody that wants to show up. So we try to do a lot of different things during the day to, to keep it fun for people. And, of course, then uh, throughout the afternoon and evening, you have your music. And, of course, on Thursday, you go on to the country side of things, and you're bringing in a very nice lineup on Thursday with Gary Allen and uh, Lorna Elena. Yes, and, and Gary Allen, I'm really excited. I, and don't get me wrong, Lauren's great to look at, an excellent singer as well. But uh, I, I really just got turned on to Gary more this year, just learning. I'm coming to our event and learning about him. But uh, he, he, everything we hear from the radio side of people that have seen him, he puts on an amazing show. That's a great booking, by the way, because I know it's not it's not an easy thing to book these shows because obviously you're, a lot of times uh, you're at the mercy of the artist where and when they're going to be. But uh, obviously it's worked out for you this year, hasn't it? Yeah, you're spot on with that, Jay-Z. Booking talent is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> you have <laughs> about a 20% chance of getting who you want and when they're routed in and um, and, and if it works out with other events, and it's, uh, it, it's the one real, real difficult piece of this business. But uh, we work with some partners that do a great job with that, and I think uh, really nailed our lineup this year. So. You know, the one thing I will say to people that are listening, and obviously you, when you, see, you hear the headliners, obviously you want to go there, yeah. But it's these acts that are leading up to the headliners that could possibly be that next big headliner down the road. So we want to make sure that when people go there, they uh, watch all the acts, don't we? You do, and and again, it's the experience and just being around it and being exposed to new music or different music that you haven't heard before. And um, you know, we brought the Plot Hounds up here 
about a month ago. They're from the Twin Cities. They just uh, got Band of the Year in the Midwest CMA. And we put them up at the side track, or the side track put them up. We just helped promote it from Lakes Jam. And uh, they packed the house all night long. And it was all original music no one's ever heard before, and no one left the place. It was so good. Hey, Friday night, it looks like you got a little mix of uh, new talent and older talent. And uh, Justin Moore, Scotty McCreary, of course, from American Idol. And then you got uh, legends like Sawyer Brown and Little Texas. That is uh, a killer lineup on Friday. Yeah, this is the first time we've had four national acts back-to-back. So starting off with Little Texas and Sawyer Brown with a little bit, little bit of older country. Not old, but, you know, compared to Scotty McCreary and Justin Moore, it's a little bit older country. And then you move on to those two, and it's, yeah, it's 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 a show for everybody, for all ages. It's our, you know, our country. Back, you and I can probably in the same age yeah. grade there. Okay, it's okay. We sure. can we can yeah. we can admit that here on the airwaves. And then, of course, good. for our dark listeners, uh, this is what they're probably excited about: is Saturday's lineup, Three Doors Down, Collective Soul, and Fuel. And I also know you have a tribute band coming into the Crown Jewels. Let's talk about that band first. Like, what's the history of that band? So the Crown Jewels, we had them. Uh, we actually saw them first at uh, Rockfest in Wisconsin um, a couple years ago, and we're like, we've got to have those those guys at Lakes Jam. And so we had them in our secondary stage last year um, on Saturday, and so they played in between our main stage. And they were honestly probably, if not the strongest rock act we had last year. They kept that secondary stage packed all day and night. No one wanted them to leave at 1 a.m. Everyone wanted them to keep going. But their 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 tribute to Queen performance is excellent, and you you don't want to miss it. But I mean, if you're a Queen fan, or even if you're just a maybe a Queen fan, you don't want to miss that one. Or if you're a fan of the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, here's a perfect setup, isn't it? Yeah, and that just kind of happened. It was just you know one of those good luck pieces. Um, it came along shortly after shortly after we had uh, got them lined up for this year, and so and I'd recommend to anybody if you want to go see a great movie. And I really knew very little about Queen. I liked their songs, right. you know, and that was about all I knew. But I went and saw that movie. That is an amazing movie. Very informational. How they develop their songs and and whatnot. That's uh, take the time to go see that or or watch. I think you can watch it in your homes now. Yeah, and obviously uh, Oscar winning performances too by many of the actors and actresses and that. So just an all around uh, great movie and uh, should be a lot of fun uh, seeing that as they kick off the Saturday. Then you follow it up with a, a band that's been around for years and fuel and. Uh, they have just a, a great arsenal of music. So oh, fuel, it's that's just the the day is just going to continue to rock all day and all night. Fuel is just the next step in that. I'm excited about fuel, and I know my wife is a huge fuel fan. We have never seen them before, so we're excited about that. So uh, I'm sure they're not going to disappoint with what they've done over the years. And then, of co- and then, of course, we got Collective Soul coming up at 8. I know I've had a chance to see them before. And uh, I tell you what, you know, yeah, it's a, a band that started out in, you know, the 80s and 90s, and they've continued on here. But uh, they know how to party and have a good time. Well, and of, of all the rock bands, that's probably the one I look forward to. And I like all four that are playing. But I'd have to say Collective Soul is probably the one I look to probably the, a little bit more than the other three. Um, I, I there's not many chances I stop when I'm running around the event working all weekend, but I imagine I'll probably stop a little bit and, and, and take some of the collective soul in. So. And, of course, our headliner is Three Doors Down, and, I, I mean, this is unbelievable that you're getting Three Doors Down to come to Brainerd, Minnesota, because uh, that is a band that fills, you know, major stadiums, and uh, they do it on a nightly basis, and to have you guys have them there... Uh, that alone itself for our dark listeners is the reason they should get up there, and I'm sure you're excited to have them. Yeah, and once that song, once the song Kryptonite plays, you know, it's, it's gonna <laughs> yeah. be, it's it's gonna get wild in there. And at the same time, I know that that's that's gonna be the end of this year. And uh, and uh, then it's like, you know, everyone's like, Do you, "Aren't you excited to be done? Can't you wait to get through this?" I'm like. I'm excited for the event, and then I get really sad at the end of the night on Saturday because then it's like it'll wait a whole other year before the thing starts up again. So. Absolutely. Hey, we're talking to Ken Lacey, the general manager of Lakes Jam. That is coming up on June 27th through the 29th, and I guess now all the big questions we got to ask. We talked about the camping already, but tickets. How can people get a hold of tickets? What's the best way to do that? Well, there's, there's two ways for the people in Little Falls. One, um, you've got lakesjam.com. And you can get anything and everything you need there. The other option is uh, Johnny C's there in town is a supporter of Lakes Jam. 
they're a hard ticket location for us, so you can go in there. And the nice thing about going in there and buying your tickets is you don't have to pay the online fees. So there's no uh, online ticketing fees. So you're going to save, I don't know, anywhere from 8 to $12 per ticket. Very cool. So it's well worth your time to run into Johnny C's and, and pick it. You can't get campsites there because we have to sell, you know, they're you know, set. So you have to pick your site. But uh, everything else you can get you can get there at Johnny C's. So. Now, now, one thing, Ken, I know we talked about is camping, the whole experience to go there, and that's great. But I know there's some people that maybe can't. Or, or maybe can't go camping or something in that. Is there going to be, I guess, uh, you know, I don't know, for the Little Falls area, but for shuttle buses or anything like that, is there anything like that, or do they have to find their own transportation there? Yeah, we don't really have anything set up for Little Falls. We have some shuttles that go around the hotels in the Brainerd Lakes area, but we don't have anything set up with Little Falls. Um, if someone has any ideas, suggestions, we're definitely open to it. Um, we're always expanding you know, what we're doing for our customers every year. Um, so, again, if anyone's listening and that's involved in shuttles or hotels down there that wants to work with us, um, we're always happy to have that discussion. That's great to know. And uh, how about uh, pre-parties in that? Do you have some pre-jam parties uh, in the future coming up So uh, to kind of promote this a little bit? Yes, and, and to tie into that, let me start off by talking about uh, we're very appreciative of our military, and we have military yes. discount passes available for those that are, that are currently serving or have served. And uh, we, we offer those at any of our pre-jam parties. We have to do the verification of their DD-214s and whatnot, so it's not something we can do online. But um, at our pre-jam parties, um, so this Saturday, April 13th, at the sidetrack is the next one. It's up in Brainerd. And we've got Erin Grand coming to play. she got female vocalist of the year with Midwest CMA this year. She's an amazing singer. And uh, so Saturday night, the party starts at 7, the music starts at 8, but from 6 to 10, if you're active or retired military, you can get a three-day military pass for seventy-nine dollars, and the current price um, for general public is one twenty-nine. So a, it's it's a big saving. So that's an awesome deal, and of course, uh, that's a great way to uh, salute our military. Well, and, and at our event too, we have uh, we have flyovers from the military. We have um, on stage swearing in process. We do the color guards. Um, we're always looking to help them, help the military promote, and for us to salute the military ourselves. Very cool. Anything else, Ken, that uh, we need to at least tell the listeners, at least at this point, since we're still a few months away, but yet it's coming quickly? Oh, just uh, we do have a uh, our three-day GA passes will be going up on Monday night. So if you want to save, um, if either go, go to Johnny C's and purchase or go online and purchase. Um, otherwise, after Monday, they are going to go up. Awesome. So say that's the one thing to keep in mind immediately. Yeah, if you want to save some dough, that's the key. I mean, I t- everybody wants to save money, right? It, it makes it so you can buy a couple extra adult beverages while you're <laughs> attending the event if you'd like. I was going to say that, but I figured you'd do that for me. So <laughs> thanks so much, Ken. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, chatting with you a couple more times before the event uh, as we lead up here to Lakes Jam 2019. Thanks, Jay-Z. appreciate your time. Once again, that is Ken Lacey, the general manager of Lakes Jam. Of course, Lakes Jam's coming up on June 27th through the 29th up at BIR. And uh, since Three Doors Down is going to be there, let's play some Three Doors Down right now. It's on the dark. It's on FM 94.